Today I'll bring you a Throwdown Showdown fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching The Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! Show. I'm your host Victor Nutley and I am the Comic Hero. The Summer of Superheroes concludes and on this episode I'm raising awareness of spinal muscular atrophy. Now spinal muscular atrophy or SMA is a disease that affects the nerve cells that control voluntary muscle movement. Now most of these nerve cells uh, that can that control these muscles are located in the spinal cord and when the muscles don't receive signals from the nerve cells then they eventually become inactive and, and would later um, start getting smaller. Now, um, a person with SMA is without the ability to walk. And usually SMA is, is um, detected early in, in life. And one out of 11 births is affected by SMA. And um, this is an SMA comic hero team. And inside the speech bubble is the um, the Cure SMA logo because I do strongly believe that there is a cure coming for SMA. I always, you know, SMA to me is adversity. And as I always say, adversity is temporary. And this is an um, spinal muscular atrophy awareness ribbon. Uh, oh, by the way, this month, the month of August, is Spinal Muscular Atrophy Awareness Month. Now, um, I'm wearing this Superman hat, and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm, um, I'm, I'm wearing this hat in honor of a young person that I know as SMA. I know, I know this person, I personally know this person, and I personally know their parents, and if y'all are watching this, I love y'all, and y'all will continue to have my own way of support. Now, you're probably also wondering why am I um, including them in a summer of superheroes? And, and, and well, the answer to that is very simple. Um, I also know some other people that have that have SMA, and I can tell you that they may have it, but it doesn't have them. And and what I mean by that is that they uh, they um, they understand that you know they have that they don't that they don't have the ability to walk, but at the same time. It doesn't bother them. It doesn't uh, affect their their personality. Most, I mean, some of these folks, I mean, all these folks that I know, I mean, they're just, I mean, they're they're just, you know, they always have a smile on their face. They're always determined to do what they say they're going to do, and they execute it. I mean, they they stay the course and they and they do it. And I tell you, if I had only the gist of their wonderful personalities. Oh, the sky would be the limit, and and there and and they, and they inspire me because they want me because looking at these people make me want to be a better person. I mean, I just see the I just see the personality, how upbeat they are despite their disability, and it just and 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 they say, hey, if I if. I mean, the way I see it, if these people can be happy, or could be this happy, then there's no excuse for me not to be as be as happy as well. Um, now, this is the last episode of Summer of Superheroes. I just gave away a free t-shirt in the last episode, so I'm not going to give away a free t-shirt on this one, but I will let you know what the, the free tea question of the week is right now. True or false? Batman co-owns the Daily Planet. Every, everyone who answers, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> everyone who answers correctly being in a drawing for a free tea on episode 274, which I'm doing next week. All right, now Curtis Harris from um, Warren, Ohio, has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and this one is very, very, very demonic. Represent Image, we have Spawn! And represent Dark Horse Entertainment, we have Hellboy! These two are gonna duke it out 
in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Spawn versus Hellboy. Spawn possesses superhuman strength, speed, agility, and endurance, immortality, healing factor, is a highly skilled tactician, martial artist, swordsman, marksman, athlete and acrobat, teleportation, shapeshifting, necroplasmic energy blast, resurrection, multiple demonic powers, energy manipulation, and molecular manipulation, and demonic cape and weapons. Hellboy possesses superhuman strength and endurance, accelerated healing, longevity, extensive knowledge of the supernatural, right hand of doom which serves as the key to the end of the world, innate capability to comprehend magical languages, and immunity to fire and lightning. Who will win? To say this will be an all-out unholy brawl would be an understatement. Hellboy understands that Spawn wants to send him back to Hell. The only problem is, because Hellboy is half-human, half-demon, he can't go back there. Spawn attempts to use his assortment of demonic powers, but they have little effect on Hellboy because he's half-demon. Hellboy then hurls an 18-wheeler at Spawn, but the latter avoids being hit by using his acrobatic skills. The two would continue to go back and forth for hours on end before they realize that they can't beat each other. This fight ends in a draw. That concludes this fight on the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that fight. I'll have another fight next week for episode 274. Alright, now it's time for Comic Week Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk! Comics! All right, there are four things we're going to talk about on this segment of Comically Speaking. And the first one is the news of Kit Harrington being casted in the um, in Marvel's The Eternals as the Black Knight. Now, for those of y'all who don't know who the Black Knight is, the Black Knight is a character that made his debut in Avengers number 47. It was created by Roy Thomas and Sal Buscema. His real name is um, Day Whitman. And he wields this sword called the Ebony Blade. It's a mystical sword. And, um, you know, from seeing uh, Harrington play um, Jon Snow on Game of Thrones, and him being casted, I, I, I think it's perfect. I mean, spot on. Now, some folks thought that he was going to be casted to play Wolverine. Um, I honestly didn't. I, I, and honestly, I think Harrington is going is going to kill it with the Black Knight, going to bring it to a whole new level. Um, just can't wait to see it. I mean, he, yeah, I mean, say what you will about this Phase Four of Marvel, but there's some diamonds in the rough. All right, now um, speaking of the Eternals, um, it's been rumored that when this movie comes out. They're going to introduce the um, the not very told seventh stone of the Infinity Gauntlet, and that's the Ego Stone or the Ego Gem. Um, it's it's in the comics, but this gem is, is so rare that it's only been used a few times. As a matter of fact, I think it's only been used once or maybe twice. Um, now you know I'm a because I'm a comic book nerd. What that is, and that's been, I guess, well established since since day one. I'm a big fan of including, you know, stuff like this in, in, in the on the big screen and the small screen, and and um, I think it's a great thing. Makes me really look forward to seeing this movie. All right, now the third thing, and this is also in, is part of Phase Four of um, Marvel Studios. But this is a show that's. But this has to do with a show that's going to be on Disney Plus, which is the, uh, the which is the streaming network uh, coming soon. There's going to be a show called What If. Now, What If is it's going to be based on the um, on the original comic series that that debuted many many decades ago, and um, well, it's been said that oh by the way because it, by the way it's going to be animated. Um, it's going to feed every one each episode is going to feature every Marvel movie that has come out since 2008 
and I mean, I'm I'm really excited to see what what they're gonna do with every Marvel movie that that's come out, or or you know, tell a what if and wow. Sorry, I just get excited about this kind of stuff. What can I say? All right, and the last thing, and this is um, really comically speaking. All right, the Justice Society, after a long absence, and they've been absent since the, the end of the uh, pre-Flashpoint DC Universe, they're coming back. And they're going to return in a story arc in Justice League called The Justice Do War, which starts at number 30. And I'm really excited about this because I used to read Justice Society. Now, so who, now, who's the Justice Society? Well, some of the members are the Jay Garrick Flash, the Alan Scott Green Lantern, this character named Black Cat, and then several, and then several others, and um, I, I tell you, they, they at, at times they were a lot grittier than, than the Justice League. I mean, a society, I mean, where you know, no nonsense, no holds barred. I mean, I mean, they they'll they'll go to. I mean, they they won't they won't kill, but. From uh, the beatings that they've given villains, they'll make them wish they, they always made them wish they killed them. And I, I can't wait to, um, I can't wait for that story arc to start. I'm currently reading Justice League right now, and um, it's, it's going to be awesome. It also really ties in with the year of the villain, um, which is going on in almost every book in the DC Universe. It's going to be spectacular! All right, that's it for Comically Speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> All right, first up is Miles Morales Spider-Man number nine. Batman the Outsiders number four. Catwoman number 14. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 10. Detective Comics number 1009. And finally, Justice League Odyssey number 12. Alright, that's six, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 9,539. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Here's a question for a free tea for episode 274. True or false? Batman co owns the Daily Planet. Everyone who answers correctly been in a drawing for a free tea on episode 274. And um, and I'm glad that I'm... Um, I really had a lot of fun with this uh, Summer of Superheroes. And um, Lord willing, I'll do it next year. Only difference is I'm not going to do two episodes a week. That's draining. Um, really had fun, to do it, uh, fun doing this. And also... Um, very honored to um, to raise awareness of, of SMA. Um, I mean, these people, despite you know living with with this disease, I mean, they're I mean they're they're like they are bright shining stars only because of the way they carry themselves, the way they live. The I mean, just I mean, and you know. They're shot. They're. I mean, they're. They're. They're stars because, despite the fact that they have this disease, despite the fact that they can't walk, it doesn't get them down. It. It doesn't. Um. It doesn't deter their. Um. Their. Their attitude. I mean, they. I mean, they understand it, but it doesn't bother them. And I just wish that I had the gist uh, of their demeanors. 
and um, I, and I want y'all to know that I love y'all, and I and Lord willing, there's going to be a cure for SMA. It's coming, and I I just and you know I'm I'm also inspired by the 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 dignity and the grace that that these people that these people carry about. I mean, these people have about them. I and mean, that's what that's the way that we should go go about our lives with with dignity and grace. I mean it's I mean there, I mean what more can I say? I mean thank y'all. Love y'all. Praying for y'all. Cheers coming. Just hang on in there. All right, I'm Victor Nolley. I'm the comic here. I'll see y'all next time for episode 174. Ooh, I almost said 174. Uh, 274. 274. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero.